Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tom Cheney from Living Health Integrative Medicine in Annapolis. And in this video, I wanna go over the top causes of peripheral neuropathy. We see a lot of patients come in that have neuropathy and there's many different reasons why a person would have neuropathy. Now, some of you may not um, know what neuropathy is. Uh, so just really quickly, it's, it's the death and dying of the nerves in the peripheral. So that is meaning in the extremities, typically in the hands or in the feet. So that's what neuropathy is. Let's go over the top causes. And the first one, diabetes and prediabetes. So we see that in our office, probably 40% of the patients that come in with neuropathy, they have diabetes or they're pre-diabetic. So they have blood sugar dysregulation um, challenges, and that can cause neuropathy. What happens is blood sugar goes up, and when you have elevated glucose in the bloodstream, that's going to slow down. It's going to clog vessels, so blood flow is not going to get to the nerves you're going to block the ability of oxygen and nutrients to get to the nerves and nerves. They need those fundamentals to be healthy. So that's the number one cause definitely um, by far in our office is diabetes and prediabetes. Then um, one of the other common issues, and this goes right along with being a diabetic, is poor circulation. So we're not talking about the big blood vessels. We're talking about the small vessels. So small vessels start to become damaged, and um, those are the ones that are delivering those, those nutrients and all the different, um, everything those nerves need to be healthy. So that's how they're going to get what they need to be healthy is through the bloodstream. And if you have issues with circulation, then, of course, um, you're going to be at a higher risk for neuropathy. And then number three is uh, chemotherapy. So we see about 40 to 50% of patients that have had chemo develop neuropathy. So that's a pretty high stat. So about half, half the populations that have chemo um, are going to have neuropathy. And what we see and what we hear from patients is that when they go to their doctor and tell them that they have neuropathy from chemo, um, the doctor usually says, wait, let's wait and watch and Let's see if the nerves can, um, let's see if your symptoms reduce or are eliminated. Um, but uh, what we've seen is the, the sooner a patient comes in to see us, the, um, the better the results are that we have as far as helping a person that has had chemotherapy. So uh, we have great results with patients with chemo that have had chemo. So, uh, so keep that in mind. If you've been told there's nothing you can do, you just have to wait and watch. There are some strategies that, that are very effective. Now, I did put in here back and neck, um, herniated disc, spinal stenosis, and not truly neuropathy, but a lot of patients think they have neuropathy because they have neuropathy-like symptoms. So um, really what this is is a radiculopathy. That's what we call it. So there's some impingement on the nerves around the spine or at the spinal level, and that can mimic the symptoms of, of neuropathy. So you could have, for example, you have... Um, impingement on the nerve in the back that causes pins and needles in the feet. So, um, so just keep that in mind. But you know, we one of the things that's why an exam is so important and the history is so important is to really differentiate between if it's truly neuropathy or what we call radiculopathy. Post-surgical. So once again, um, this is this could be another case where it could be neuropathy or it could be. Um, some other issue like radiculopathy. Autoimmune diseases. So um, there's many different autoimmune diseases. You may have heard of different named autoimmune, uh, autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, celiac disease, Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Um, these are all different types of autoimmune diseases. There's hundreds of autoimmune diseases, but the bottom line is that the immune system, when you're autoimmune, your immune system has lost um, regulation. It's, it's no longer, um, uh, it's no longer self-regulating and it's actually attacking your own body tissues and it can attack your nerves. And so we do see that with many cases and there's actually some tests, some very valuable tests that we can use to see if this is actually happening or not. So, um, so autoimmune diseases that can also cause peripheral neuropathy. Infections, um, so viral, bacterial, even parasitic. So 
Infections can attack the nerves. Um, we see this, and it can just trigger inflammation in the body, which can, once again, lead to neuropathy. Alcohol abuse, that can cause nerve damage. Liver disease, kidney disease, thyroid conditions. So we screen for all of these with our neuropathy patients to make sure that um, you don't have these going on. Maybe it's secondary to maybe diabetes, but we want to definitely screen to make sure that you're not suffering from any of these and these, are, um, these aren't complicating factors that we have to deal with. And then several medications and pharmaceuticals. So um, one of the things that patients, um, many of them are not aware of is the side effects of their medications. And there's many medications out there and, that have the side effect of nerve damage. So um, one of the most common that I see with patients coming in, and a lot of these are diabetic, but, um, but we're seeing this more and more is, you know, the cholesterol-lowering medication. So the statin medications, one of the known side effects is nerve damage. So, um, so if you're on a statin medication and you're having neuropathy, that's not helping the situation. So in those cases, we want to work with the patient, get their body healthier, um, get their uh, lipid profile um, improved so that over time we can see that the need for that medication can be reduced and many times even eliminated. So those are the top causes of peripheral neuropathy. If you have any questions about any of these causes, go ahead and leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer those questions for you. And I will see you in the next video.